Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin spice cheesecake. This is a no-bake cheesecake recipe and you can actually make it with or without gelatin depending on um, whether or not you consume gelatin or not. So this is a gelatin cheesecake. Well, this is a cheesecake that can be eaten by everybody. Pumpkin spice is so delicious and obviously it's very, very trendy this time of the year. So I figured I'd show you guys how to make this. It tastes so good. It has been tested by many of my favorite people and it was even eaten for breakfast because it's apparently that good. So definitely recommend this recipe. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let's get started. So first things first, we're going to be making the base of the cheesecake. So usually for my cheesecakes, I use graham crackers for the base, but we're also going to be adding some little ginger snap cookies. And what that's going to do is going to add some like depth and some warmth to it, and it's really going to create like a nice fall flavored crust. It's so good, oh my gosh. So what you need to do is pop some ginger snaps and some graham crackers in um, a blender or a food processor and pulse it at it until they resemble a fine crumb. You can also just pop them into a Ziploc bag and like bang around and crumble them that way. But I like this way because it makes a nice like even consistent crumb. Then you want to add some melted butter and mix everything together until everything feels pretty damp. And then press that into the base of a 9 inch round spring form, spring form pan. And if you're new to making cheesecakes, a spring form pan is a pan that allows you to remove the bottom because um, cheesecake, you're not going to be able to like tip it out when you're done with the cheesecake because it'll just fall apart. So um, these kind of pans allow you to just remove the sides and keep the base intact. Paddington seems to agree with me. Then after we make the base, we're just going to pop that in the fridge and now we are going to make the filling. So to make the filling, you want to beat some cream cheese with an electric mixer until it's smooth. Then add some brown and white sugar, pumpkin spice mix, and some canned pumpkin and mix to combine. And if you'd like a recipe for some homemade pumpkin spice mix, I'll have the recipe linked in the cards right here. Then add some whipping cream, lemon juice, and vanilla extract and mix until combined. So if you want to add gelatin, now is when we do it. So what you want to do is combine some gelatin and water in a small bowl, microwave it for about 30 seconds or until the gelatin has fully melted. Then add this to the cheesecake mixture and mix until well combined. And again, if you're not using gelatin, just skip this entire step. And then if you like, you can add some orange food coloring. Um, I found that the pumpkin does add a little bit of orange color to it, but not as much as I wanted. So this is you can like add it or you don't have to. Um, but I like the extra little orange tinge that the food coloring gives. Then you want to pour this into the spring form pan and smooth the surface. Then pop it in the fridge overnight or until it's firm. Or if you're not using gelatin, pop it into the freezer. And you want to chill in the freezer for about three hours or until it's firm. Um, the consistency it might change a little bit just because there's no gelatin in it. Um, so that's why we're putting it in the freezer instead of the fridge. Then to make the topping, you want to beat some cream cheese, granulated sugar, vanilla extract, and cinnamon with an electric mixer until it's light and fluffy. And I actually ran out of sugar, um, so I use icing sugar instead of granulated sugar, so if you're out of it, that works for this part too. <laughs> then you want to pop it into a piping gag fitted with a large star-shaped piping tip. Run a warm towel around the outside of the cake pan and remove the sides, then pipe dollops of the topping onto the top of the cheesecake. And so the reason why we're doing, we're creating like a cream cheese kind of dollop instead of a whipped cream dollop, because this is meant to mimic like the whipped cream that you put on two pumpkin pies, um, it's because that this is so much more stable than whipped cream. Whipped cream can melt really, really easily. And so um, this, this, these little dollops will stay intact and beautiful for as long as like the cheesecake exists. So you don't have to worry about it just looking nice your presentation. If you package this up and give them to a bunch of people, it will still stay nice and the dollop will still stay shaped. <laughs> and then you are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. If you haven't seen my other cheesecake recipes, there are a ton. So I'll have a playlist linked in the cards right here for you guys to check it out. Um, if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell because I have so many pumpkin and spice recipe coming for you and October is filled with Halloween and like festive and cute videos. Um, I'm also going to be carving pumpkins with my dogs and I have two little Pomeranians if you don't know so I have no idea how that's gonna go but I can't carve pumpkins to save my life because I have no upper body strength so if you want to see um, basically a disaster waiting to happen probably um, subscribe so you can watch it. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow for an all new video. Bye!